Learn simply how to clean and jerk from this video. Why? Because the benefits on athletic performance are huge. Increased power, faster sprinting, increased vertical jump, and increased strength in the whole body, so let's go. Start with hands just outside shoulder width. Now we start in the power position, bar in the hips, slightly bent knees, vertical torso not leaning forwards. Your weight should be through your midfoot to heels, as the more surface area you push through the floor with, the better transfer of force you get. Press with your big toe and heels into the floor and twist outwards with your feet, making a diamond with your knees. You should feel your glutes switch on and this will increase activation in your adductors too. From here, squeeze your core and push and shrug your shoulders with straight arms. Ideally, the bar stays as close as possible to your body and you are vertical before you push and shrug. Do the same thing but adding a high pull to the bottom of your chest with your elbows up, keeping the bar as close as possible once again. To build on this, lean over and sit your bum back, shoulders forward over the bar, slide down to your knee and engage your glutes, feet and your lats with a slight pullback on the bar like a stiff arm pull down. Practice sliding up into the power position again, but don't slide up into straight legs as you see here. You want to have slightly bent and loaded legs to snap and shrug the bar up, not straight with nothing loaded. Slide up into the power position again, then snap into a high pull and back down. Slowly put the two movements together until you start getting smoother with the movement. Adding in the catch, start at the power position. This time don't do a full high pull, but just off after the snap and initial start of the shrug and high pull, drive your elbows fast under the bar and as high as you can. The bar will sit on a crease in your shoulder muscles, taking the weight off your hands. This is called the front rack position. It's normal to have a poor front rack position at first, the bar may feel like it's in your throat and the elbows aren't getting very high. Scap and mobility practice will improve this. Once you can snap and catch from the hip, slide down to your knee and then slide back up into the power position and snap into your catch. After this, go further down, edging your way towards mid shin. Picture a straight line all the way up from your laces and midfoot to the roof. This is the path you want the bar to travel, so your knees slide back out of the way as you come up, raising hips and shoulders at the same time then follow what we went through before with the knee into the catch. Put it together and don't forget to engage your lats, core, glutes and feet before you pull. Lastly, for the jerk portion, mimic the power position except the bar is sitting on your shoulders. Keep the elbows up during the dip so your shoulders take the weight, not your wrists. Then extend up, chin comes back out of the way of the bar as you lock out and then stand straight. Put it together and you have a power clean and jerk. To make it a squat clean, just catch further into a squat when you do the catch portion. Make sure you're not missing this staple in your programming as an athlete. Good luck.